I've s The skeleton tries to brush the dirt from his clattering bones, then frowns. The moistest bits are still stuck in his cracks and crevices. Thanks. You're probably looking for a reward, but I haven't got much. Except, you know, the wisdom of the ages. He pokes a finger against his ossified head. I'm a bit of a philosopher, you see. Not much else to be, what with all that thinking time. Are you questioning my intellect? You think you say more sooth than me, a verified soothsayer. The skeleton pauses and sighs, then straightens his spine with a clatter. A soul bond will settle it, a battle of wits. Then the cosmos itself will decide who can better face the truth of our own essence, me or you. A weak soul may not survive the bond, but I'm sure you'll be just fine. Battle is dangerous, is it not? I find it to be true anyway, even when you're battling your own mortality. The angst can prove terminal to the weak-willed. Oh, how fun. Just touch this bone on my ribcage here, right over where my heart would be, if, well, you know. You reach for the rib in question, but nothing feels different. Not until you try to pull your finger away and it remains glued to the bone. All right, miss. Deep thought. First up, our purpose in life. I say it's to accumulate knowledge. Pretty great answer, eh? Can you do better than that? His jaws clack together in a show of self-assurance. A shattering shiver passes through the skeleton's body from toe to head, then back again. The cosmos agrees with you. Could it be, I don't know my own meaning? This emptiness. No matter. Surely you cannot best me again. Tell me, Sally Smarty Pants, is there such thing as free will? I say no. The gods guide our every move. I dare you to outsmart me now. How could I have been so simple when the truth is so vast? Well, I won't let you outshine me again. The skeleton hangs his head low, then yanks it upwards again. Is there a difference between right and wrong? The truth is that there is not. Only action and consequence. <laughs> Oh-ho! I got you there. You feel the bond break between your finger and the skeleton. You pull your hand quickly back to your side. I can't bear this, this existential agony. What have you 